Hello folks, welcome to bsptrainings.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to give you a functional overview of one of the Oracle EPMA product called High PM Profitability and Cost Management. Uh, I'll give a functional overview of this for, for technical developers. So if you're planning to learn HPCM, what all you should be knowing. Uh, in the first video, we'll talk about only high level overview of HPCM. In subsequent video, I'm going to show you a technical architecture and how to create HPCM application and other aspects. So let's get started. First we see what is HPCM and where does it fit into picture in entire EPMA solution stack. So as you see over here, Oracle Profitability and Cost Management or HPCM is one of the overlook product and it's a part of your EPMA solution stack. It is designed to analyze cost and profitability in, a, in an accurate and timely manner so that company can take up some important business decision. So you find these terms are a little heavy. Let's take one simple example and try to understand what is what. Before that, I'd like to show you quickly uh, the HPCM, where does it fit into picture entire EPMA workspace. Um, so you see in the bottom most, you have a data source here and you have disparate data sources like you can use data from enterprise warehouse, data can pull from OLAP, semi structure sources, web services, or some other ERP solution. And on top of this, you have got uh, Oracle Fusion Middleware, and then you have BI Foundation Services, where you see Oracle Space, BI, uh, Oracle BI Server, Oracle RTD, and then you have a prepackaged solution called Oracle BI Application, and then it comes to Oracle EPMS Suite. So if you pay attention over here, you see HPCM sit along with the planning. Okay in addition to strategy finance, strategy management, financial management. So planning, hype in planning, HFM, strategy management and profitability, they all fall under a common category called EPMS suite. And then you can access them through common workspace, common interface called um, Oracle EPM workspace. In addition to this, you can access through MS Office uh, using Smart View. Okay. So, you see, we use two terms over here, profitability and, and cost. What exactly it is from a uh, layman language and why do we need it? Okay, let's quickly see the definition and I'm trying to show, give you an example. So business user generally, if I'm manufacturing, I'm owner of the manufacturing company and I manufacture multiple product, I would like to know which product is more profitable to me and how much cost is cost it add to me. What are different customer? are what what customer demography, what kind of customers are adding, uh, they are contributing to the revenue. So business users would like to know, they want clear picture of how customer, product, location and different channels are contributing to the revenue and how much cost they are adding to you. So profitability and cost management help you to identify the same thing. Right? Where you can find out the direct cost and indirect cost with respect to different product and services. HPCM is specially designed developed to produce, provide a better approach for assigning overhead cost with respect to your product or services. Let's see one simple example and make it easy to understand. I'll give you an example in Excel sheet and then we see what are the different terms are used. Uh, the example I'm going to give you over here is called, as part of your ABC called activity based costing. Okay, let's see this. So. Uh, what is given to me, we have serial number and these are different activities, right? And there are co certain costs associated with that. So I would like to find out the manufacturing cost of different products. In this example, we have taken two products, product A and product B, right? So the initial setup cost is, the cost is given over here for initial setup, 10700. And there's a cost driver called number of setup. So total cost is 10700 divided by number of setups. This is called cost driver. If you find the cost driver a little, uh, difficult word, let's take even more simple language. So we need to allocate bonus to different departments. I have a dimension over called department and I need to allocate the bonus to different departments. There are three departments, sales, HR and manufacturing. right? And so equal distribution would be is quite natural, 9000 divided by 3, it would be 3000, 3000, 3000. It would be linear allocation, 3000, 3000, 3000 to each department. But there is a cost, there's a, there's a driver associated with this. The driver name is headcount, which talk number of customer, number of employees. So in sales department, we have got 600 employees. 
in HR we have got 300 and marketing we have got 100. So in terms of percentage it is 60, 30 and 10. So 60% of the bonus should be allocated to the sales. right? So when I move your mouse cursor you find over here I use a formula. 60% of total bonus should be allocated to the sales because it has got 60% of the employee work for sales department and in a similar fashion for HR and, ma and marketing. So if the if the driver is associated with the allocation, you see allocation changes according to the driver um, value or dairy account. This is exactly done over here. There are two drivers, number of setup and machine hours. So the initial cost, initial setup cost, number of setups and machine maintenance cost is 50,000. And in order to find the individual hour machine cost, machine hours. This is what you see the total. Total indirect manufacturing cost is 15700, isn't it? We would like to find out this cost with respect to my product A and product B. So I used over here one major uh, called direct labor cost. This is a cost, direct labor cost of product A and product B, which is total 10,000, but it is not being used in this example. So I want to draw your attention over here. There are some, it may be possible, there are some indirect costs which directly, which may not be associated with your. Uh, while you're calculating ABC. Another two more majors we have over here, number of setups and number of machine hours. So we would like to, number of setup, total setups are done 30 for product A and 70 for product B. So total setups are 100, right? And total number of machine hours, 1200 and 3800 respectives, respectively. So it becomes 5000. So I'll divide this 100 by initial setup. So total initial setup cost is 10700 divided by 100. So I could find the individual cost 1070 setup cost right? for, for both product A and B. Similarly, I can find the maintenance cost. Total maintenance cost 50,000 divided by 5,000. Okay, so $10 per machine hours. This is what we found a product A and product B. Now let's see for individual product A and product B. What is the indirect cost of product A? and product B. This is the cost for both products. So in order to find the individual cost, uh, I'll multiply this by number of products are 30 and 70 respectively. So 1070 individual cost multiplied by 30 and 70 respectively and this is the value. Similarly I find out the maintenance cost which is total 5000 and for product A is 1200 and product B 3800. Individual cost we find 10, 10 per machine hour. So this is how you can find total indirect cost of product A and total indirect cost of product B. Now here is a requirement. The business, the company wants to produce 350 units of product A and 225 units for product B. Right. So the total cost of product A in order to produce 350 unit, what would be unit cost? So 44,000 divided by 350 is 125 per unit cost for product A and um, the total value over here called 112900 divided by number of units for product B is 225 so 105 unit cost so this is how I can find out the unit cost for product A per unit cost of product A and per unit cost of product B this kind of allocation we can find out so in this case what dimension we use. If I look at the same thing with respect to HPCM, HPCM ship along with some predefined dimension. Okay. Uh, these are called, first one is called stages. Stages, in our example, we consider stages are, we assume we find the indirect cost of product, which this is, in HPCM we can have up to nine stages. At first stages, we first stage we found indirect cost of product A, which further could be uh, calculated for shipping cost of product A. So total indirect cost of product A would be product manufacturing cost plus product shipping cost. Also, so stage as per HPCM definition which organize the steps in the allocation process within your organization. So first I find the product, individual product manufacturing cost, unit product manufacturing cost followed by shipping cost of each product. Similarly, we would like to find out business dimension. There's another dimension used in HPCM called business dimension, which describes the object within the each stages. The business dimension, in our case, we assume 
this manufacturing cost I find with respect to my one of the region called New York right then we have a majors over here the major which contain the majors uh, for cost revenue driver selection and driver data in our case the majors are initial setup and maintenance machine maintenance then we have point of view point of view consists of uh, in this example we consider the whole calculation will be taking place for actual for 2015 quarter 1 so point of view consists of your scenario period and time dimension then we have a cost drivers cost driver in our case number of setup and machine maintenance cost machine hours okay. and finally there is one more term we use called assignment which I'll show you in subsequent chapter called which map source data to destination okay, directly by or by using defined assignment rules so in addition this HPCM is also designed for three level of activities in allocation the example which I shown you functionally called unit level activity as the definition given over here you see costs are incurred for each unit produced this is what we calculate cost incurred for each unit produced if you look at the final calculation product A per unit cost is 125 per unit this is what we calculated in addition this HPCM is also designed to calculate batch level activities like costs are incurred for each batch rather than each unit produced we there is another kind of activities called production level activities maybe for service based company this is more appropriate costs are incurred to support a product type of services product type or services like uh, process design test routine, product development. So HPCM designed to do all these kind of activities. The last step, if you're planning to design an HPCM application, make sure you gather all the required information. The first, identify major activities performed by the business. In our case, we assume the company is involved into manufacturing. In addition to manufacturing, they may also be involved into services. So the first step, cost identify major activities performed by a business second calculate the total cost of each activity over the period calculate the total cost see calculate the total cost of each activity over the period in our case we have taken total cost for initial setup total cost for machine maintenance next determine the cost driver for each activity we find a cost driver is cost driver for initial setup to be calculated by number of setups and machine maintenance to be calculated by machine hours okay. calculate the cost driver rate this is what we did, divide by total cost driver initial setup total initial setup cost 10700 multiplied by number of setups is 100 and similarly maintenance total maintenance cost divided by machine hours calculate the cost driver rate and finally assign the cost center overhead to produce to the product according to the cost driver rate so I find assign the cost center overhead so the cost in order to manufacture each product A is 125 per unit this is only product manufacturing cost in addition this in the next stage we will calculate the shipping cost and subsequent other costs as well so we keep on adding these costs to the cost center and therefore we find out the the total product uh, manufacturing operating shipping cost and based on this we decide defi, uh, define the product selling cost and identify the product margin so this all kind of analysis can be done with respect with the help of your HPCM so this is that's it for today uh, do watch the second part of this video in which I'll talk about the architecture of HPCM I'll also show you what are the components your HPCM consists of um, and the architecture of it, HPCM uses pretty nice architecture in which we have, we use ASO and BSO cube together. In BSO cube we perform all calculation, in ASO cube we write all the reporting. Okay, So these are predefined dimension structure used, some of them are pretty uh, self-explanatory. If I look at with respect to our example, you see we have a business dimension like customer and product, we have accounts there are different products and different customers you can see over here is a business dimension and the point of view is a period 
scenario, period scenario, okay, and year is a point of view. Our majors are, we have got accounts are majors, okay. these are our majors, and then we have different kind of allocations, these also fall under majors, and we have different activities, you can call them as your uh, your processes or your stages, we are like to calculate different activities with respect to business support, production and customer services, right. So we'll see the technical architecture in detail in subsequent session. For now I'm stopping over here, your questions are welcome. Should you have any question, question please feel free to write to us www.bsptraining.com. Thank you and have a nice, have a great day ahead.